Hello everyone, and thank you for watching another video brought to you by International Key Supply. Today we have a 2019 Jeep Compass, and we're doing a duplicate prox key for this vehicle. So here's the vehicle that we're working with. So there's a common solution that a lot of folks use, which is the Smart Pro and the ADC uh, 2012 cable. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually use the uh, Autel IM608. This is actually the um, the little brother here. This is the uh, Oro version, IM600, but it's equivalent to the current model of Autel IM608. So what we've done is we've used a standard Chrysler Dodge Jeep bypass cable. So just the can high and can low connection. And uh, my cables might be a little bit different than what you're used to, but the way that uh, mine is set up, I have a OBD2 Y cable, and on one side of that Y cable, I have the VCI for the IM608 setup, and on the other side of that Y cable, I have um, my connection for can high and can low. And as you can see, it's running throughout the vehicle here. It's a little tough to see, maybe, across the back seat. And what we've done is we have pulled this panel down to locate the RF hub and we have probed the can high and can low wires here on the RF hub. We've not disconnected anything, we've just probed the wires and on this particular setup with this RF hub, uh, dark blue is can high and yellow is can low. So we've probed those connectors and then we have connected everything just as I've told you here. So we have the 608 on, we're going to do automatic VIN detection. We are having a working key for this car, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the ignition on by pushing the push to start. Get the ignition on there. We're gonna do auto VIN detect. We're gonna select Jeep USA. And as you know, without this bypass cable, you can get the VIN from these vehicles. So I wanna go ahead and just do an immobilizer status scan so you can see that we are getting full connectivity to this vehicle and bypassing the security gateway. I'm not actually gonna demonstrate uh, the programming of the key because I wanna keep the video a little bit shorter, but we're gonna click on okay. So now we're getting the warning here from Autel telling us we need to use their 12 plus eight cable, which you can use. You can look at the video or the pictures here on screen to tell you where the security gateway is and you can find it up under the dash, disconnect it, connect this 12 plus eight cable and it'll work this way. But I think the way that I'm showing you is a, is a little bit easier. So we clicked on okay. Now again, we're establishing vehicle communications. We see we have a 2019 Jeep Compass with a smart key. Okay. Now it says turn off the ignition and turn on the emergency flashers. And as you can see, there is the pin code for this vehicle, 68585. If we click on OK. Now, I'm just gonna show you again this immobilizer status scan so that you can see the way that I'm showing you does provide you full access to all the modules in the vehicle and it does bypass the security gateway. So it says if we have a programmed key, make sure the ignition is on. We have a programmed key. We are going to turn the ignition on trying to show you the push button there, but the angle was a little bit bad. Okay. So now the 608 is gonna go through and it's going to check all the modules that are related to the uh, immobilizer system. So as you see, it's looking at the BCM, it's looking at the ECM, it's looking at the RFH, the radio frequency hub. It's checking the VINs in all these modules. It's also checking for diagnostic trouble codes that might be present in these modules. And as you see uh, the indications on the left, as it checks the module and finds no issue, the colors change to indicate what's uh, going on here in the vehicle. This is also a, a good thing you can do on any vehicle that the IM608 uh, connects to. You can do this immobilizer status scan and you could see if there's any modules that'll prevent you from key programming before you start doing programming. And as you see, we've got a pass no fault and a pass no fault. And so, 
Then we have the ability to read the PIN code, which we already did, add a key, all keys lost, mobilizer learning, vehicle MO information, which we already have, or we can escape. So again, in order to try to keep this video a little bit shorter, I'm not gonna go through the whole key programming process, but at this point, you could click on add a key, and as you've seen through this immobilizer scan, you do have full connectivity to this vehicle through the security gateway, and you don't have to use the 12 plus eight cable and remove the security gateway if you don't want. You can simply use your standard Chrysler Dodge Jeep bypass cable and connect to can high and can low in the RF connector. Well, we appreciate you watching this video and uh, have a great day and thanks again.